What's going on guys and before this video starts I'd like to say that I'm doing a giveaway because on part ones I usually do giveaways. So I'm going to give away two copies of Ark Survival Evolved, one on part 5 and one on part 10. All you have to do is like this video, comment down below what you're most excited about in this game, and three, you can subscribe if you want to, you don't have to if you enjoy Ark content, I'm going to be posting it regularly for a large period of time so you can click the subscribe button, but it's not exactly necessary. So go ahead and like and comment if you like to enter the giveaway. Make sure to check your YouTube message inbox on part 5 and part 10 to see if you won. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's going on guys and welcome to one of my most anticipated games as of late. This is Ark Survival Evolved. It's pretty much an open world survival game. Very, very similar to Rust, but it's with fucking dinosaurs. There's a Bronto and here's actually my friends. I was just talking to them in a stream and I'm just going to join up with them and record pretty much. Uh, not in TeamSpeak, but in game to make it a little bit more in like ingested that you guys are kind of like you're put into the game with me if that makes sense is this ritz or is this flea i don't think this is either of them let me go see if i can find them so i'm pretty much going to show you guys the basics my first impressions of the game i have played about three to four hours of the game so far so to the best of my ability i can probably show you from levels one to ten essentially the way this this game works is you're implanted with this device and this device allows you to do specific things you level up by killing dinosaurs, crafting things, and hitting trees, and gathering plant fibers, and all that kind of stuff. It all gains experience, and over time, you'll eventually be able to craft all these different types of things if you level up enough. You can get to, like, assault rifles, killing dinosaurs, to bazookas, and there's so many different things that you can eventually unlock the more you level up. It kind of becomes a grind later on, but not at the same time, because you actually get more experience based on how much gear you already have. Say you can actually craft 30 spears or really good spears or a pistol, you'll be able to kill dinosaurs quicker, therefore leveling you up quicker. I do not want know what, what. those trees are dancing. Uh, but I'm just going to show you the basics. Probably part one is going to show you how to get a hatchet, a pickaxe, that kind of stuff to make it nice and easy. So first we've got to punch a tree, you know, because every survival game involves punching a tree to start. And then we need to get a pickaxe to start. So it's one stone, one wood, and ten thatch. We have to keep punching trees until we get enough thatch. It actually damages you when you punch a tree with your fists, so you don't want to do it too long if you can help it. Two more thatch. Awesome. We got enough thatch, and now we need a rock which we can pick up off the coast. I think this should be a rock we can pick up. Awesome. And then we go ahead and craft a pickaxe. It crafts similar to Rust. You click on it, it takes the items, and you can't walk very fast when you're crafting. Kind of like old Rust. I'm going to be doing a lot of comparisons to Rust in this game until we get into the more advanced things like taming dinosaurs and stuff. Where it kind of, kind of, sort of not really borrows things from the Stomping Land. But I'm not, I'm not going to talk about that game because that game pissed me off uh, that they kind of abandoned development. So I'm a level 1 right now. I'm actually really close to level 2 where I'm going to be able to learn a, uh, a hatchet. Which is allowing me to get wood a lot quicker. I don't think... Yep, this is a rock that I can mine. Gives me flint and stone. We should be leveling up any second here. I'm going to explain what the uh, meters on the, the side mean as well. So essentially, you see these meters on the side. Bottom one's health, obviously. Second one is stamina. I just leveled up. Third one is food. Fourth one from the, from the bottom is water. Fifth one is weight, so you think you're gonna carry like a certain amount. And the top one is actually your experience bar. As that hits the top, you you level up, and then you can you can uh, upgrade your character and learn new engrams. Uh, another couple symbols that some people don't notice is see I'm looking at this rock. You see the the two icons that show like a shovel and a pickaxe. That means it's actually an item that you can you can break down. See I can actually get flint from this rock, even though it's massive. Just look how big this rock is. I can still get flint and stone and stuff from it. It actually breaks at the end. I can do this one too. But say I were to go up to one of the mountains, it would probably tell me a lot of the rocks I can't break down. This, Even this giant rock right here that looks like it's part of the world is actually just like spawned in over time. So that's really cool. Now I'm going to show you the level ups. This is how it works. You can go up in health, stamina, oxygen, food, water, weight, melee damage, movement speed, 
Fortitude, Fortitude essentially makes it so you don't get hot and cold as fast and a few other things. Crafting speed, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I usually go up in health at first because it's always important. And then there's something called engrams. Engrams are essentially things that you learn to craft in the game. So as you level up, you get engram points. And then you spend engram points on certain items that you want to learn how to craft. The the EP is engram points, so this will cost three engram points to learn a stone hatchet. I will do that, and I always do the spear, and then I probably will do the campfire. These are pretty much specific. Actually, I don't have enough engram points for the campfire, so I'll get that next level. Every level, you get a certain number of engram points. I don't know if it's a specific number or not. I haven't really looked into it. Um, but now we can craft a hatchet. I might have enough for a hatchet. Thatch, we need more thatch. If you hit a tree with a pickaxe, you actually get a lot of thatch really fast. Um, you'll see that kind of working out in a lot of different instances. Like if you hit a hatchet on a tree, you're getting a lot more wood. If you hit a pickaxe on a tree, you're getting a lot more thatch. Vice versa, if you hit a rock with a pickaxe, you're going to get a lot of stone. And if you hit a rock with a pickaxe, you're going to get a lot of flint. Or it might be flip-flopped, I don't know. Just try different tools to get different types of items is what I'm trying to tell you. Here we go. It works on animals as well. I believe if you hit it with a hatchet, you get more food. And if you hit it with a pickaxe, you get more leather. Like I said, that could be flip-flopped. I'm not sure. So, this is the game. This is, this is what it is. Once you level up a lot more, it starts to get expansive. Like, we can ride a pterodactyl and fly through the air. It's possible. And I will do it eventually. We can ride these nice little turtle fuckers and just, like, have fun. And I, you can actually ride them right now. Like this, and they'll ju you'll just be at ease and just like follow them wherever they go. It's probably not the safest or the smartest idea to do, but it is something you can do if you really feel like it. Uh, that is a Bronto over there. You can also ride those. I've only came across like, I believe, two carnivores so far. I've came again, uh, across a Carnotaurus, and I've came across these, uh, they kind of like spit acid into your eyes, and then you, you're blind, and then they try to eat you. It's really freaking scary, and I hate it. And it, they do a lot of damage. So what we want to do is get some spears going. Uh, once we have some spears going, we'll be able to kill some dodo birds and some other, um, just a few other dinosaurs. That way we can level up faster. And once we level up, we can actually craft buildings and we can build buildings. And it's, it's really cool. You guys are going to enjoy this game very much. So I'm probably going to be posting solo episodes today. But starting tomorrow or in a few days... We'll be hopping into some more multiplayer and getting some even bigger builds done. Maybe investigating large parts of the maps that we're too scared to go into alone. Um, this is also how you get berries and fibers and that kind of stuff. These bushes on the ground, in case you're wondering. Fibers are extremely annoying. Very similar to how Rana Kings was when you had to get... Um, what is it called? That gray stuff. I completely forget. I'm mind, mind blanking right now. But this game is actually really, really fun. And I, I really do enjoy it. It can be stale at times, but it can still be extremely fun because out of the out of the blue, you'll get attacked by something like I was running down a coast. I'm just like, oh, I'm doing so there's a fucking Megalodon. OK, that was really buggy, but that's that's a Megalodon. And I don't know what that was next to the Megalodon. That was scary as fuck. OK, let's go ahead and craft some spears. I think I can only craft one. I probably need more fibers. Like I said, you're going to need fibers for pretty much everything in this game. So when you're running around, always start collecting fibers. It is very necessary. Pro tip as well, once you run low on water, you can also just dip your head underwater and you're good to go. You see my water meter is filling up. This is fresh water. If you need food, all those berries that you now picked, uh, each one has its own kind of thing going. So... Narco berries make you tired when you eat them. Uh, so you want to be careful to not eat too many of them or you'll actually fall asleep. My guy has fallen asleep before. Um, these ones are just like normal, just black blueberries, whatever. Uh, also, just a wild berry. Those will add food. Also, just a wild berry. You do not want to eat stim berries. Um, they dehydrate you. Um, and they recover food and stamina. Just a pinch, not too much, but you really... Personally, I just drop them on the ground. I don't fuck with those things. I just leave them be. I usually just eat the narco berries as well. As long as you don't eat a fuck ton of them, you're not going to fall asleep. Um, I remember I ate like 40 at a time or something after picking a ton of plant fibers, and it just really fucked me up. By the way, me and all my friends are playing on the same server, 
So we will have these levels once we get into multiplayer. You're not going to have to see the beginnings again unless the server decides to die or we decide to switch servers. Here we go. We got a nice little spear. So these are the ones that spit in your eyes and actually make you blind while they attack you. I can't take on two of them personally. Um, so I'm going to avoid that conflict and go around them and see if I can't find some dodo birds. Really, really easy to kill. They're just stupid little fat little fluffy birds that can't even defend themselves really. Uh, they can defend themselves if they're in a pack. If you see like three or four dodo birds, I would avoid punching them with a stick. With a spear, you're perfectly fine. But if you're punching them with uh, your fists, you're going to be pretty much screwed if there's four or five of them around. Because they will team up on you and start attacking you. Uh, you by the way, when you're cold, you need to eat more. You lose food faster. And when you're warm, you lose water faster. And when you're sprinting, you lose water very fast. So you need to be very careful. Stick to the coast when you initially start playing. Uh, do not go into the forest or you're going to fuck yourself over. You're going to get attacked by more dinosaurs than you can possibly imagine. Um, and you really can't handle yourself in there. It's just not fun at all. I would recommend just staying to the coast and just farming some levels until you get at least a gun, I would say, to defend yourself. I believe level 10 is the first gun. Not quite sure, though. Don't quote me on that. So where am I? Why is there no dodos? You also gain levels very slowly just by walking around, crafting, building, that kind of stuff. So you, des you don't really need to kill dinosaurs, but it does make it a lot quicker. Also, you get the the hide and the, uh, the food from them. Hello, Mr. Triceratops. I don't even know. Are they called Triceratops in this game? It's probably like a... It's a trike. So yeah, it's, it's just a, a silly name for a Triceratops. A trike is three horns. Three wheels. Get it? Yeah. Okay. Thought it was hilarious. So let's move on. Just need to find a couple dodos. The game is truly beautiful. In case you're wondering, I'm playing, I believe, on medium. And if this looks nice to you guys, you might see a little bit of blurring. I apologize for the blurring in advance. That's just how YouTube renders foliage. It YouTube really, really hates foliage for some reason. Um, and it does cause some issues sometimes, but it's kind of unpreventable going on here I don't want to throw my spear thank you you can throw spears I don't I haven't learned how to pick them up you might be able to I'm not sure um, you can also poke with a spear obviously looks like we found our way to a nice little river doesn't look like there's oh there's like a bunch of dodos over there okay okay don't lose too much health nope it looks like we slid straight in I just leveled up. Like I said, you just kind of level up randomly. By the way, the music is really low. You can you can turn it up if you want, obviously, but it, it really has a really weird slider. If it's really low, it's really low. If it's even slightly higher than really low, it's just blasting. You know, alpha game. This is early access on Steam for $25, in case you're wondering. Um, now I'm probably going to go up in stamina. I'm going to get more engram points to be able to craft something like a campfire. And then this is where I start crafting armor this is the way i do it there's probably other ways to do it and people have probably thought of other ways to do it but i personally like to get armor early on because it does actually block against damage a lot more than people would believe all right so we're gonna go after one of the spitty fuckers wish me luck oh we might have got it by surprise it didn't spit on us yes all right dinosaurs also have levels as well which actually corresponds to how much damage they can do. I'm not sure specifically if it changes too, too much, but it definitely does correspond to how much damage and how much health they have, similar to how your level does too. All right, so see how I attacked one dodo. Now both the dodos are very interested in killing me. But like I said, with a spear, dodos are pretty much, pretty much useless. I just killed all three. So you hit it with a hatchet. Yep, you get uh, more meat with a hatchet. And you get more hide with a pickaxe. And I guess that was not a very good accurate representation. You still get meat and you still get hide with each one. But usually you get more with one and less with the other. I don't know where the third dodo went. I think it poofed away. And this uh, light in the sky that you're seeing is actually an airdrop. This is the game's airdrops. Essentially this giant like thing... I don't even know what to call it. There's probably like a lore or something that says what it is. But this giant thing is randomly popping up these rifts. And these rifts actually have chests at the bottom of them 
and if you're the right level, you can you can open them up and steal the gear out of them. So that's really cool. Looks like there's actually a raptor attacking a turtle, which scares me a lot. Now it's attacking the dodos. Okay, let's stay away from the raptors. It uh, looks like we kind of got ourselves into a little bit of trouble. I might swim across and leave this area. Uh, there's like a pack of raptors over there, and we do not want to deal with a pack of raptors. It's a terrible idea. No, 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 no. So let's head this way, see if we can find some different dodos. Uh, nighttime is rolling around, and nighttime is relatively dark, but once you get a torch, it's, it's pretty okay. So let's stick to the coast, see if we can find some more dodos. I believe I can kill one of these turtles if it's a lower level turtle. Level 5 we might be able to do it, I think I'm going to go for it. circle around it. There we go. We just killed a level 5 Karanamidus. That was brutalized. Like, just beyond belief. Should get a lot of hide and a lot of raw meat off of this. Awesome. Sweet, sweet. We have 15 raw meat. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a campfire going before night comes. We're going to need some food very soon. Uh, food spoils relatively quickly. If you highlight over the item, it'll tell you when the next one spoils, which happens to be in two seconds. <laughs> so it should be a piece spoiling anytime soon. All right, so we got the campfire, which is more stone. Let's go ahead and drop this spoiled meat. Do not eat the spoiled meat. You pretty much die. So we've gone up in health and stamina. We want to go up and wait now because we're going to start gathering a lot more materials we have the gloves that we still need to learn, and we have the hat, and we also have this. So now we have full cloth arm armor that we can craft by level 4. And once we have that full cloth armor, we'll be able to take down some even bigger dinosaurs. We might actually be able to 1v1 a rap uh, raptor. Don't quote me on that. I wouldn't try it, personally. I would stick to killing dodos and uh, more defenseless monsters. Like you saw there when I killed that turtle. Uh, just keep circling it. It really is a pretty easy dinosaur to circle and farm EXP off of. So make sure you go off of those. All right, so what do we need? We needed uh, stone. Where's the nearest stone that we can hit with a pickaxe? This area doesn't seem too stony. I, Okay, so there's three of them. There's a green one, a red one, and a blue one. I know you can go to them, and they actually have, like, really, really high-level dinosaurs around them. So you need to make sure you're geared before you head that direction. Oh, did it kill a raptor? Oh. We can get some hide off of it. A lot of hide, actually. 12 hide is a lot. All right, let's get a torch going, actually, before we do anything. It's actually quite dark already. Surprisingly. Should have a torch. Put that down here. There we go. Now it's going to get relatively dark, probably for the whole next episode and just the uh, last few minutes of this episode. I'm going to look for a rock. Hopefully we don't get ambushed by a couple raptors. This area does seem safe because there's a bunch of living turtles. Oh my lord, as I say that, as I say that, as I say that. That really, really blows. But this gives me an opportunity to show you what happens when you die. Pretty much nothing. It is a hardcore survival game where you drop all your gear when you die. I didn't really have much besides a bunch of hide. But you do keep your engrams, you keep your level, you really don't get at any disadvantage besides you don't know where the fuck your gear is. I could probably stock down my gear based on my location right now, but it really wouldn't be worth it. It takes just as much time to get the gear, if not less, because it's a lot easier. So off camera, I'm going to go ahead and get like a spear back, a hatchet, and a pickaxe, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please leave a like down below if you did enjoy, and don't forget to comment if you want to win one of the two copies of ARC that I will be giving away at part 5 and part 10 of this series. And I will see you guys very soon. Adios.